Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 123 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you a very quick tip on using the map module in Lightroom. Now, to tell you the truth, I don't get a lot of questions about the map module, but when I do, it's often this question. And for this example, I have a map here of Hoyt Lake. And as you can see, I went for a walk around Hoyt Lake and I took pictures as I went. And all those images are indicated by these markers. And what you might find at times is that you took a picture and it gets put on the map module in Lightroom and is indicated by a marker, but that marker isn't actually an accurate location, meaning Maybe you weren't standing exactly at that spot when you took the picture and you'd like to move it. Well, it's very easy to do if the marker is like this one is. You see, this marker has no number in it. Some of these other markers you can see have numbers inside of them. Now, this marker, as I mentioned, no numbers. So that means I took a single image in this spot. And if I hover over that spot or over that marker, you'll see the image I took. Now, Let's say, say for the sake of argument, I don't think I was standing right there. I think I was further this way. All I need to do is click with my left mouse button. I could drag that marker wherever I'd like on the map. So I could reposition the marker wherever I'd like. Well, that's, as I mentioned, very easy to do if your marker is like this, meaning it doesn't have a number in it. You just took one image in that spot. Now let's go up here to say this marker here has six. That means I took six images. If I take, I want to move it, you see it won't let me move it. I'm clicked with the left mouse button. It's just dragging the entire map around. Well, I want to move the images, or a single image, let's say, from the six. Well, to do that, hover over the marker so that the little window opens up with each individual shot. Then you could page through them forward and backward. And when you get to the image that you think you need to move, just grab it right from the window. So I'm going to click down on my left mouse button and I could just drag this anywhere I'd like. Now you see I moved this single image over here and this reduced from 6 to 5. So I'm going to move that back. And that is the question I often get. People can't move these images when there's multiple images taken at a single spot. And that's how you do it. Just hover over it and then move it right from the little window that pops up. The other thing that might be happening is you might have locked the markers. And you could do that by hitting Command or Control K on your keyboard. And when you do that, if I try to move this single image now, see it won't let me. That's because the markers are locked. To unlock the markers, hit Command or Control K again and they'll be unlocked. So it's Control K if you have a PC, Command K, of course, if you have a Mac. And that's a couple tips on using the map module in Lightroom. And as I mentioned, that is a question I often get, how to move those markers. Now, if you're wondering how I plotted these markers to begin with, I do have a video available where I talk about uh, an app, a smartphone app that you could get that will... Uh, kind of geotag your position as you walk and then you could combine that info that is in that app to the actual images you took and it will actually geotag your images automatically and I'll have that video linked below this video so take a look at that if you have a camera that doesn't have GPS already built in you could use an app and you could geotag your images very easily so that's it for episode 123. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.